This is Pioneer Public, a segment where we introduce the most interesting people on campus to their community. The Globe's Carly Bonk has this profile. I'm Carly Bonk, co-features editor for The Globe, and I'm joined in studio today by sophomore business management major, Brandon Rogers. Thank you for joining us today, Brandon. Thank you for having me. No problem. So, you're from Memphis, Tennessee, mm -hmm. I see from your lanyard. Um, tell us a little bit about the adjustment of moving to Pittsburgh. Um, I would say one of the biggest things that I had to adjust to was definitely the weather. Um, at home, I'm used to like the four seasons. Here it feels like it's only two seasons. It's either hot or cold. So that was an adjustment. Um, and smaller things, just uh, like the way people pronounce things. Um, Pittsburgh has a very unique dialect. I guess just this, the city life in general, um, I feel like there aren't enough trees here. So you like to be outdoors. What are some of the activities that, that you like to do? Um, I'm pretty much a fan of doing anything outdoors. I enjoy camping. I enjoy uh, parasailing, mountain climbing, rappelling, because outdoors, Nine times out of ten, I'm going to enjoy doing it. Perfect. So, as a business management major, what kind of work do you see yourself doing upon graduation? Um, after graduation, I'd like to start my own business. Um, I have a few ideas in mind, but uh, the biggest one I would say right now is probably doing uh, business or management consulting. Okay. And you mentioned earlier that you were interested in nonprofit work. Um, tell me a little bit about that. Um, well, I've already had experience working with nonprofit um, at home. A group of friends and I uh, started a nonprofit uh, youth organization uh, called the Youth Enrichment Association, and um, it was a challenge, you know, being a high schooler and. Uh, trying to create an organization for youth being young yourself, but um, it was a great experience and I want to continue working with nonprofits. Do you see yourself someday um, wanting to be in that position of mentoring youth into the business world? I do. Um, I'm actually minoring in education um, and I know that um, at some point in my life, I like to continue to work with youth, um, in particular, um, working with youth to teach them business skills. I feel like it's important for uh, young people to be motivated to start and run their own business, businesses, um, as opposed to uh, working dead-end jobs. Mm -hmm. And you're involved with a lot of um, things going on around campus. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your involvement with the Black Student Union. Um, I became involved with the Black Student Union at the end of uh, my freshman year last year. And um, through my work with them, um, I was offered the opportunity to serve on their exec board. And I accepted that position last year. And uh, I started a few weeks ago. And uh, so far, it's been a pretty good experience. And you guys recently had a um, kickoff block party. Mm -hmm. How did that turn out? Uh, it uh, exceeded our expectations. We were only expecting about uh, 150, and um, our total attendance was 314, so double. Wow. You seem very busy. You're also involved <laughs> with uh, Campus Activity Board. What do you do there? Uh, my role with the Campus Activities Board uh, is the administrative coordinator uh, and my primary job is to kind of run the office uh, making sure that we have the things we need for inventory and um, keeping up with paperwork, contracts and files and um, basically all the background work. Mm -hmm. And what are some events that students can look forward to um, on campus this year? Um, we're trying this new event out called Donut Panic, um, and uh, we're going to have hundreds of donuts, um, going to have good music, um, and it's basically an event where we want to just uh, warn people 
to not panic throughout the school year and, and that it's going to be okay. Just assurance. It sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So you've lived in the South. You've lived here in Pittsburgh. Uh, where do you see yourself in the future? Do you plan on traveling a little bit more? I love to travel and um, I made sure that for school that I, I got out of the South only to expose myself to different areas of the country. But um, in the future, I see myself living either uh, in the Midwest or on the West Coast. All right. And do you have any advice for young people um, hoping to branch into the business world? What would you say uh, could help them succeed? Yeah. Um, my biggest piece of advice would be to just do it and to not underestimate yourself and to not limit yourself by telling yourself that you can't do it. Um, I feel like a lot of young people are intimidated to do uh, what many would consider like older people things. Um, and having that confidence will get you further than uh, not having the confidence to do it. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, Brandon. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you for having me. No problem. If you know someone we should feature in Pioneer Public, send us an email at globe at pointpark.edu. And for more profiles, visit us online at ppuglobe.com. Thank you. Connect with The Globe on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at PPU Globe, and always online at ppuglobe.com.